Good afternoon, everybody, and uh, welcome along to this uh, live edition of Tom Plays Games today, playing The Sims 4, uh, reaching the dizzy heights of episode 16 uh, here on the channel. Uh, hello, it's live. It's Monday afternoon. It's just gone 16 minutes past five just now, running slightly late. Uh, but we are here for the next 45 minutes or so, entertaining you with more gameplay from our Sims 4 series. Uh, if you are just joining us for the first time, all previous episodes of The Sims 4, uh, Tom Plays The Sims 4, are available on the channel page. Just head uh, to the channel homepage by clicking the logo uh, and uh, you'll be able to find on the playlists tab every single video we have done in the sims 4 series and every other series for that matter they are all up there for you to watch whenever you want you can watch them all in a row if you are mad enough and if you've got that much time on your hands which you may well do hey i'm not judging um let's get the housekeeping out of the way we are live so if you want to get involved in the show and help make some decisions as we play the game uh you can uh get involved on the live chat just uh type your message in the chat window and it'll come through to me over there on the screen and hopefully i'll keep an eye on it and reply on the stream no promises though. Uh, also, uh, if you haven't done so already, uh, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Uh, if this is uh, the sort of thing that you enjoy, uh, hit subscribe and click on uh, enable notifications by tapping on the bell and then you will get an alert pretty much uh, every time we go live uh, just before you'll get like a five minute countdown warning. It's fantastic if you're rubbish at keeping time. It just kind of gives you a little gentle poke uh, and uh, also final one uh, on the housekeeping if at any point in the next 45 minutes I make you smile or you enjoy what I do just hit that thumbs up and give me a like it does help everything I do uh, likes are plenty we love them right let's get into it then it's been a little while since I played The Sims 4 actually uh, to say that we're on episode 16 I've not played it in a little while we've been playing other games uh, since the last episode so Previously on Tom Plays The Sims 4, um, Carly um, was going in search of collectible items in the local vicinity to help advance her career. Uh, so we will um, get into that. We, we did some um, uh, blending of different kinds of fruits and vegetables to make some weird hybrid plants on the uh, backyard of our lot. So we've got that to have a look at. And also, if you notice in the live chat, I've done a little bit of a spoiler alert that I've bought some new packs for the game. Hey, um, I have bought um, two bundle packs since I last played. Uh, one of them is actually a physical copy. Who? Um, and uh, I have it here. Uh, so I bought this um, on a well-known online retailer the other day. Um, I think it was like a third party seller that was just offloading some old stock because I got this at a very reasonable price. Um, it's a uh, bundle pack two, I believe, with outdoor retreat, uh, game pack, cool kitchen stuff and spooky stuff, which is cool. Um, the funny thing about this is that um, I had to wait in the post for this to arrive. And when it arrived, it had no disc in it. It's just a download code. So realistically i had to wait about four days for this to arrive i should have just like messaged them and say uh any chance you could just open it up and just scratch off the uh, redeem code for me so yeah so i've got that and then i've also um uh bought another bundle pack in fact i tell you what let's get into uh let's get into the stream and i'll show you because i've got them up here um here just, just get the music going uh, here on the home page um, you'll see these are all the kind of packs and whatnot that I've got so we started this series a few weeks ago and I had absolutely nothing uh, and now slowly but surely I'm building up a bit of a collection uh, so I've got um, we did have the get to work expansion pack we had the get together expansion pack a few weeks ago I've now added outdoor retreat and cool kitchen and spooky stuff and then yeah i've also added spa day and luxury party and perfect patio Woo! so i think we should um in this episode delve into a bit of the content for those i hey i know we're about four years out of date for doing this video 
but it's new to me and it'll be new to you guys I'm sure so yeah here we go this is uh, part of the spa day pack we've got a new spa that our sims can visit oh this looks really exciting let's place this in a lot so we got to place this on a empty lot oh should we place it on like the lot next door to our house that'd be a bit much wouldn't it let's put it here let's plop the spa there uh yeah oh just, just let the builders move in oh this is exciting Should have probably done this before we uh, came on the air today, though. <laughs> it's exciting for me. It's probably not exciting for you. Oh my goodness. Are we going to have to like wait three months for this to build or something? Come on. <laughs> there we go. Wow. There it is. There is the perfect balance spa. Um... It's moved in there. Oh, it's a residential lot, though. Is that a mistake? Oops. I should have made it a uh, commercial, shouldn't I? Really? Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Can I change that? No, possibly not. We'll, we'll sort that out another day. Anyway, right, let's get into it. Um, this is where Carly lives. Carly Jarvis, our sim on Tom Plays The Sims 4. Uh, let's get in and see what she is up to today. Oh, it's load load screen of plenty, isn't it? Oh, I'll just move my chair in a bit closer as well, so I'm a bit all bit on top of the thing. Right, okay, so yeah, um, it's Monday morning, so we've got a fresh week at work today, um, and I think we might follow her to work today. We haven't been doing for the last couple of episodes. But um, new working week and that. Let's get her back to work and uh, get on with some stuff. Um, especially now we've collected some of those collectibles that she needed. Uh, so while she's just sleeping there, let us just dive into buy build mode. And have a little look at some of the things that we've got now. So I've been saying this for weeks and weeks that we're going to expand the living room into this area here but i think we now have having this cool kitchen stuff pack i think we need to have a little look at this and maybe um maybe just rejig the kitchen a bit we've got like nineteen thousand simoleons to play with so is there a cool new kind of um kitchen yeah look at this oh wicked so we've got like a little drinks dispensing fridge or a Freezer burn be gone fridge. That's 2,000 simoleons. That might be a little bit beyond our budget at the moment. But we've got some new counters as well. Oh, they're nice, aren't they? Nice little wooden counter. <gasps> oh, and some nice outdoor counters for if we uh, make a little patio area. Wicked. Uh, what have we got in the way of new sinks? Oh, I do like some of these things. What about new appliances? Oh. <gasps> Oh, oh no, they're from get to uh, gather. We've got the ice cream machine and a little um, fountain for parties. Odds, loads of new things. Wicked. Right. Um, maybe we come back to the kitchen when we've got a bit more money. I've been talking about doing this living room up for ages. Let's just do it. Why not? And she can wake up and it'd be like Christmas. She's got a whole new living room. <laughs> Uh, so we need to just pull this wall out a bit, which I think I'm just going to manually drag it out. Let's go, if we go equal with the other side of the house, and then I think we're going to just like make a little homemade archway here. In fact, let's take all of that wall out. Let's just turn the lights on so we can see what's going on in here, shall we? Uh, take a couple of these windows again uh, from this side of the house. 
and we'll put these in. Oh, and of course, because of the update the other week, uh, we can now free place windows, can't we? Not that we needed to on there. I think they're quite cool like that. Uh, and then we'll just do the exterior. And this side. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, we'll just manually do that there at the front. And manually do that bit. And that bit. Uh, I always forget to do the roof as well, so let's just extend the roof while I remember. Uh, oh, we won't need that bit anymore now, will we? Because I reckon what we do is we take that awning out and we extend this whole roof. Um, can we just, like, make it... Yeah, let's just take it out and just extend this whole roof across the whole thing. I mean, it's a bit, it's a little bit dull, isn't it? But, you know what? It's fine. I can live with that. I'm a little bit annoyed about how this roof wall goes. Maybe we just make that all one, like so. Okay, right. Wicked. And then internally, so it's all going to be the same part of this room. I'm just thinking like making a big kind of open plan area, but maybe in this bit we could have uh, a nice dining table or something. So it's just extending the room that we've got and kind of making, making it work for her a bit more. Uh, let us put... Let's just move the desk there for a second. Switch this lamp over here and pop the desk uh, oh I don't know about that actually yeah. maybe there okay and then in this area we're going to put a nice big dining table uh, so that when she's got friends around because at the moment if she's got friends around they just sit at this little breakfast bar area and I think it's a bit poor uh, that that's the case so Dining tables. Oh, we've got some new, like, dining tables here. What's this one? Oh, look at that. A nice big wooden table. Is that in keeping with the rest of the wood furniture? Maybe in that way it is. Let's go for that. And then some nice dining chairs as well. Dining chairs. Oh yeah, let's go with like a little accent colour. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. There you go. That'll do us nicely. Look at that nice little dining area we've got there. Uh, and then maybe like a nice hanging ceiling light. These ones are new. Oh, there you go. A nice little... Um... Oh, it's a bit high up though, isn't it? I prefer if it was a bit lower down. Uh... Oh! <laughs> oh, I like that, but that's too, too big, isn't it? It's not even going to fit. That's to like go over a massive staircase, isn't it? That's cool. That's part of the spa day. Um setting. Oh, it's really annoying that... Oh, that kind of works. I've just grown it using the the cheat. But now it looks really... Ma it looks massive actually now, doesn't it? No, we can't have that. Uh, let's go to all ceiling lights. I always struggle for ceiling lights. I have like a Christmas ceiling light. Uh, you know what? Actually, that isn't that bad. That actually looks all right when it's blown up. And it kind of fits over the fits over the table, doesn't it? And although it says it's a festive light, you won't be able to tell. 
I think I'm going to go with that. I like that. That's quite cool. Right, okay. Done. It's probably going to clip all of their heads as they walk under it. I like that. That's cool. Right, um, so good morning, Carly. You've got a brand new dining area. Woo! Uh, let's just move this light as well. Or maybe put one there. And then maybe put another one down there. Is that equidistant? Got to get it equidistant. Yeah, that'll do. Right, back into live mode and just put that onto auto lights as well. Is that on auto lights? Yeah. There we go then. She's had her first little extension, a little dining area. So weird. Okay. And it didn't really burn, uh, break the budget, that, did it, either? We've still got 17k in the bank, so uh, that was probably, what, just just over uh, 1,900 simoleons? 1,900 simoleons, I think, yeah. Not bad at all. Right, okay, so she's going to wake up any second now uh, and grab uh, some leftovers from the fridge... Uh, we've got one portion of Caprese salad, champion breakfast. Let's grab that. I love how we've just made this brand new dining area for her, but nah, she's she just wants to sit at the old breakfast bar for old time's sake. <laughs> Indeed. Um, so let's carry that on. Work is at 10 o'clock, isn't it? So let's just quickly have her do a trip to the loo and have a shower. We'll just take care of that for her. Uh, and then, oh, we've got all of our plants to uh, tend to now. So let's see if we can just uh, do all these. Harvest all plants. They don't need watering, do they? No. So we grafted all sorts of different plants here. Like this is a basil and cherry plant. I don't think that's the thing in real life. Basil and potatoes. Basil and strawberry. They're all basil based because we've got tons of basil. She's, she's really into basil. Oh my goodness. Look at the shower. <gasps> what a hideous state that is. I think we might, we might look into uh, investing in a cleaner, I think soon. <laughs> Oh, one thing we should get, actually, is a little porch light. Always very practical. Um, let's have a look in room types, outdoor. Have they got outdoor lighting? No, I don't want it. I want it, I want it in the ceiling, really. So I might be better just going for a bog stand ceiling light. Um... Ceiling lights. That looks a bit like an outdoor light, doesn't it? As does that. Uh, yeah, they all look like lights you'd have in your kitchen. Oh, what's that one? No. Let's just go with that. Should we, like, supersize it and make it massive? No. Oh no, it's got it's like a flying saucer. We don't want that, do we? Let's just stick with the bog standard generic um, Sims 4 spotlight. And then a little trick that I saw the other day is that you can reduce the size of these to make them look like little um, like little halogen spotlights that you might have. I think a lot of people will have lights like these in their house, in the kitchen and stuff. They're wa they're wicked. I love them. Right, anyway, right, let's get out of build mode again. Okay, so we'll sort out that kitchen, uh, that shower, sorry, at some point. Uh, let's just go and harvest all of our plants. And then, oh, you know what? Go clean it before work, quick. Time to go to work, let's go to work. So, um, previously, I was trying to find um, 
roses, weren't we? When we were doing our little collectibles mission in episode 15, we were trying as hard as we could to find rose or roses and we couldn't find any anywhere. So I had, I have been reading up on this. Now, apparently there are three different things that we can try. One of them is using a computer to order them as a gift. So let's just see. Can we order? No, we can't order gifts. So that isn't, that's not going to work then, is it? It's not the household. Nah, I don't think, I don't think this is, this is the thing. Socialize, no. Order, it would be here surely, wouldn't it? Order gifts. Maybe that comes with an expansion that I've not got. Okay, so that was one of the things to try. The other thing to try was somebody said that there is a rose plant somewhere on this lot. It's just a case of trying to find it. Now, they didn't say where it was. But if we just quickly have a little route around. What's that? That's like a little... Um, I don't know, it's not a plant. Uh, there is the... Where is it? There is near the little picnic area at the entrance. There's quite a lot of flowers there, isn't there? I wonder if, I wonder if it's over here. No, not that I can see. So somebody, somebody said that there is a rose to collect on the scientist lot. But this is definitely the scientist lot because where else? Where else would she practice science? What's the, is that something there? No. Um, out here in the wilderness. I don't know why you would have a, a rose growing in the desert. That's like a cactus. That's not it. That's not it. That's not it. It's not here. There's nothing. There's nothing to collect apart from the odd um, like rock formation that we can... Um, collect what's that oh well, hang on what is that a daisy bush right so it's not that but it's something similar but i swear we have we have been everywhere in this game to try and find the woman rose bush and i can't find it anywhere uh, so far in this in this play we're okay it's not asked us at anything related with rose bushes but you just know it's going to at some point oh this is so annoying we've tried everywhere to find this rose bush as well okay so if it's not on the lot is it within the actual um grounds what's this bush here bluebell oh i swear it is here somewhere it's got to be uh, it's not in the greenhouse, is it? Strawberry. <gasps> ah, rose bush, rose bush, rose bush. Take a cutting, take a cutting. Oh, 16 episodes it's taken us to find a blooming rose bush. And it's there. Bluebell, Daisy, they're all here. Oh. Oh, exactly, Carly. Come on, take a cut. Have you taken a cut in? Oh, no, it's dead. Oh, you are kidding me. Please tell me that we got a cutting before it died. Oh, you are kidding me. You are kidding me. Surely one of these is a rose. No, spinach, a pear. Oh, that is, how is that even a thing? Oh, how did it die? They're all dying. Oh, 
I thought we genuinely found the rose plant then, and that was the end of it. Ugh. Our journey to find a rose plant will carry on. I'm I'm taking this offline. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it in between the next episode because it's doing my nutting. Is that I can't find this blooming rose plant anywhere. There's got to be one somewhere. There's one. Well, there's one last place we can try actually, and we'll try it on our way home after work today. So. Uh, let's get some of our work tasks done. Uh, so we need to contact aliens, first of all. So we do that on our little satellite dish up on the roof. Um, then we need to invent the electroflux wormhole generator, uh, which we've got all the components for. So let's do that on the invention machine over here. Oh, that is doing my nutting about the rose. Honestly, we've been trying to find that plant for ages, and then we finally found it, and it's dead. Oh. Annoying. Uh, right, let's get this um, get this thing invented. Then we've got to do three lots of mind control to um, get our co-workers to change their outfits. Uh, so we've got that. No idea what that does as an invention, but we'll pop that in a pocket for now. Um, let us get a Wyatt here to mind control, change outfit to his formal outfit. And then we'll get uh, Gia to do the same. It feels like we've not, um, I've not played this in so long. It feels like we've, we've not been with these people in ages. All of our colleagues. Let's get her to be in a formal outfit. And then here is Haley. Uh, more choices. Mind control. Change outfit. Formal. Lovely. Right, so that's three colleagues having had their mind controlled. Or it would be if we actually did this one. There we go. Done. Right. I'm just going to... Uh, I'm just going to pin some of these because we can do some of these later. Okay, uh, so we need to now brainstorm on the invention constructor for an hour. We're too tense to do that at the moment, though. Rubbish. Okay, uh, meanwhile, let us uh, grab... Where is it? The wormhole generator because we need to calibrate this, apparently. Um, so click that, <laughs> see what this does. Oh, I'm a bit worried for her here. Attempt an alien contact. Let's give it a go. <laughs> Oh, it, it seemingly worked. Is that it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's pop that in our inventory for now. Uh, we should ha should be in the right mood to brainstorm now. So let's do that for a minute. Um. Oh, someone's broken the computer. Look. Blue screen of death. Um. After we have done that. We could mix a spark drive serum. Oh, that's on this machine, isn't it? Um, synthesize a serum. Yes, we can do that. Strawberry and a common crystal. So let's do that. That will probably give us all we need to do to achieve our work goal today. Oh, top marks to Gia. Look, she, Gia's fixing the computer just as well. She is a lab technician. <laughs> oh no she's broken the uh she's broken this machine <laughs> she managed to uh finish the serum at least so what does that serum actually do 
Uh, here it is. Drink this serum to make your sim energized. Assuming it works. Uh, let's just grab some of these parts. Hang on. I, whoa, I don't want to put that in my inventory. <laughs> oh, too late. Um, should, we, should we drink it? Why not? Seems to be successful. Yes, it was. Okay. Lovely. Um, okay, she's going to be going home in an hour. So let us just um, do a little bit of admin on our uh, wants up here. So let's just use the loo. Wyatt's just having his microwave dinner up here. <laughs> uh, we'll do that and... We just need a bit of fun, so we'll just while away the rest of the working day by just sitting down and reading our gardening book. Which... Oh, she's left at home. Let's read the cooking book then. Okay. We need to sort out our hunger. So, let's go home. Uh, let's go home, sort our hunger really quickly, and then we're going to try the third thing to try and find the rose that I've been told to do. Uh, oh, that's good. We've, we've, we made just about as much money to um, to cover our little uh, dining room upgrade. Uh, so, let's get... Let's get ourselves a portion of fish and chips. Tidy up the stuff that we don't need anymore. Okay, and then she's in a pretty good mood then. So we'll tidy that up. Oh, hang on. Johnny's Zest's after us. How are Johnny? Uh, no, Johnny. We're going on the search of roses. <laughs> Sorry. Let's try... Oh. Let's try on the computer here, see if we can order something here. Oh, what's a holiday cracker? Oh, an actual cracker for Christmas. We don't want one of those. Um, no. You cannot order a rose from the computer. Pretty certain you can't. No. Right, okay. Um, let us now head to the neighbourhood. So, I've been told to go to Willow Creek. I'm sure we tried this in a previous episode. To go to Willow Creek and to... Is it here on Bridge Manor? I had a note and then I had to restart the computer so I don't have the note anymore. I think it's on Bridge Manor. Let's try it on Bridge Manor. Uh, we're just going to go on our own. So apparently there is a rose bush around Umbridge Manor somewhere. Wishes luck, everybody. I'm sure we tried this in a previous episode. It might have even just been the last episode, but we couldn't find it. Oh, but this, this place doesn't actually look that familiar. So maybe it is around here. So there's a nice little garden here. Oh, oh, oh. Bluebell. Snapdragon. Strawberry. Snapdragon. Snapdragon. Strawberry. <gasps> Rosebush! 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 Oh, yes. Come on. Take a cutting of that rosebush. I don't even know what this is. It's, it's pure. Surely it's a community garden as opposed to someone's actual house. Oh. Oh, 
I feel we need the uh, the Hallelujah chorus here. Is it in the inventory? Where is it? Where is it? Parsley? No. Where is it? Cherries? Hang on a minute. Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing here? Rose. What do roses look like in The Sims? None of these look like roses. Oh, I've taken a cutting, haven't I? So now I've got to... Now I've got to take the cutting and um, graft it to one of my plants, like my basil plant or something. That may, Yes, because they're here, aren't they? Oh, you're you're kidding me! So we did get a we did get a cutting from the last rose plant. It's there. I just wasn't looking in the right place. Right. So now we've got three cuttings. So we can we can make all the roses we want back home. Let's go back home. <laughs> this has been like the biggest wild goose chase ever. Right. Uh, head back to our house. This is amazing. We can now do this. So we've got to get another little planter around the back of the house. If I'd have known I was going to be this into gardening, I would have started with the big planters. Um, let us... Uh, outdoor planting. So here we go. Oh, how do we get a big planter? This can be our little rose garden here. Um, that's right, isn't it? Yeah, right, okay. So I think we need to like plant just a normal plant in here, like some basil. So let's put, why do we put four basil bush? <laughs> Basil bushes, one in each corner. Get her to plant, 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 and plant. Uh, granted, we've only got we've only got three cuttings at the moment, but if we get them all planted in a couple of days, they should hopefully grow, and we will finally, finally be able to cut some roses and take them to work with us. And then I think as long as we've got this little um, gardening system going. And we make sure that if we get asked to make a serum at work, that we know what the ingredient is that we need to make it, and we go make it. We are on to a winner. Oh, yes. Right. Oh, do we need to water these as well? Yeah, let's just water them quickly. Score. Do these need watering? No, they're good. Right. Boom. Okay, so... We haven't done much in this episode, but the things that we have achieved are pretty good. Oh, she didn't finish cleaning the shower. Let's just do that. So, yeah, we've we've kind of made a new little dining area at the front of the house here. We have finally found a rose plant, and we've got some um, plants that are going to become roses in the very near future. Uh, what shall we just do to kill the time? It's 11 o'clock, so it's a bit late to ring anybody up. But we could just sit on the uh, sofa here. Get a bit of fun up from watching the cookery channel. And then... Uh, I won't bother doing the... Um, having food, because she can go to bed in a minute. We'll just do that and brush our teeth and then off to sleep and then hopefully in the morning oh, in fact they've already done it look they've uh, they've started growing of these bushes so hopefully come next episode we'll be able to um, graft our rose cuttings to them and we'll be winning sorted okay uh i think i'm gonna wrap things up here guys because um i ain't got the time to go through another day but um it's been weird that we've only done the one day but i think the one day that we've done has been 
pretty good in terms of achievements. We have finally ticked off some massive things on our list of things to do, uh, i.e. we've got some rose plants on the way anyway. Uh, I know we've not we've not done everything we wanted to do. We wanted to run through some of the uh, added features from these bundle packs, but um, I think we'll come across those as and when we kind of expand those rooms. So like the kitchen, as we do the kitchen, we can look at putting some new kitchen appliances in and see what the new ones are that the expand uh, the uh, the stuff pack has added. That's the stuff pack, isn't it? Uh, and then you know I've got I've got ones that I might want to extend the patio area, and we can have a look at some of the furniture uh, and the um, kind of flooring and whatnot that that adds so uh plenty of stuff to do in the coming episodes uh i am quite excited to to play on in this i think uh the added stuff packs and this i've, I've been stuck in this rut of trying to get the roses and that's kind of held me back doing episodes for the last few weeks so i think we'll uh in the next episode we'll plow on with continuing the story we need to get johnny over as well our uh better half shall we say possibly uh, get Johnny and uh, Carly to uh, maybe have another night in. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll kind of advance things from there. But that's it for now. Uh, if you have enjoyed this video and uh, you have shared the emotional roller coaster with me on search for this rose plant, uh, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and uh, give the video a like. As I say, it helps support the channel in, uh, in its endeavor to grow. Uh, and if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button to get alerts uh, for the next time. We go live with another Tom Plays Games. Uh, until next time, this has been Tom playing The Sims 4. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.